Keith Crock's story starts in small town Ohio, where his father ran a machine shop and his mother was a teacher. At the age of 12, Keith became a welder in his dad's shop. Who would guess that this boy would go on to weld together billion dollar companies and realize his passion for transformation on a global scale? Keith's father encouraged him to study engineering so he could help grow the family business. But General Motors discovered Keith at Purdue and awarded him a scholarship, first to complete his engineering degree and then to earn his MBA at Harvard Business School. After graduation, Keith became GM's youngest vice president and led the formation of GMF Robotics, a joint venture that's become the largest robotics company in the world. After 10 years at GM, the allure of Silicon Valley proved irresistible to Kroc. He joined the founding team at Razna and created the category of mechanical design synthesis. Razna was later acquired by Parametric Technologies and remains strategic for engineers around the world. In 1996, Kroc co-founded Ariba, serving as chairman and CEO. He took the company public in 2000, ultimately achieving a market capitalization of $40 billion and building one of the fastest growing software companies in history. Today, $3 trillion a year is transacted on the Ariba network, which is more than Amazon and Alibaba combined. After tremendous success, Kroc chose to give back to an organization that helped him as a young leader. Kroc became Grand Consul of Sigma Chi and launched a bold vision to transform the fraternity from a social organization to one focused on building character and next generation leadership. After Sigma Chi, Kroc became chairman of Purdue University's Board of Trustees, where he recruited Mitch Daniels, the 49th governor of Indiana, to serve as president of the university. Together, they dramatically redefined education with the formation of online Purdue University Global. Purdue has set a powerful example addressing the nation's student debt crisis with no tuition increases in seven years. In 2009, Kroc launched another transformation in the world of commerce at DocuSign. As chairman and CEO, Kroc created the category of digital transaction management and built the DocuSign Global Trust Network with more than 400,000 companies and 400 million users in 188 countries. Kroc made DocuSign a verb, empowering anyone to transact anything, anytime, anywhere, on any device, securely. When DocuSign went public in 2018, the company was valued at $9 billion. Kroc also created the DocuSign Impact Foundation, a $30 million foundation committed not just to giving, but to transforming charities using DocuSign to streamline operations. That giving spirit was the impetus for the creation of the Kroc Family Foundation. This organization supports numerous causes. Kroc's next chapter centered on the transformation of mentorship. He created the Global Mentor Network, a place for aspiring leaders to learn transformational leadership skills from great mentors. Kroc figured out a way to deliver mentorship at scale enabling anyone, anywhere, to amplify their impact. He applied his proven principles of creating networks and categories to build the ultimate pay-it-forward model. When the U.S. government asked Kroc to serve his country, he answered the call. In June of 2019, Kroc took the oath of office as Under Secretary of State for Economic Growth, Energy, and the Environment. Today, he is strengthening our partnerships with friends and allies leveraging the innovation and resources of the private sector while amplifying the moral high ground of our American values. Because he understands that in order to prevail, we must play the game better and take economic statecraft to the next level. He's a natural leader. He's got a long list of business accomplishments, and he couldn't be taking the post at a more important time for our country. What he's chosen to do with his success demonstrates his character and devotion to causes that will leave this planet better for future generations. It just shows that learning welding skills can do you well in life, so I might go back and try to figure out how to become a welder. My life's work has been focused on creating innovative companies by building high performance teams and then empowering them to pursue opportunities and accomplish things they never imagined possible. I believe the team with the best people wins, 
and diversity of thought is the catalyst for genius. This bodes well for the E-Team and the American team in our noble pursuit of global economic security. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for your faith, your support, your trust, and your friendship. I will never forget this day.